Hi, I'm Dr. Sarah Watley with Stacked Peptides. Today, I'm going to show you a subcutaneous injection in my shoulder. I'll be doing an injection of the Wolverine Stack, which is BPC-157 and TB-500. We've talked about this before, where you can inject this peptide into your abdomen for whole body effects, or if you have an acute or chronic injury, it's helpful to inject near that area for the best results. Most peptides are via subcutaneous injection, which means under the skin. You can go at a 90 degree angle, meaning directly into the skin if there's enough tissue. Some areas there's less tissue or it's a little bit awkward, so you really wanna make sure you're going at the 45 degree angle. So instead of 90, you're angling it at half the distance. This means that you're still getting under the skin, but you're staying in the subcutaneous tissue and you're not going too deep. I'm going to do an injection in my right shoulder. I'm right hand dominant, so that could be a little bit awkward, but it's totally possible. So you wanna look at the area. You wanna be able to pinch enough skin that you know that you're getting into the subcutaneous area and you're not getting into the muscle and you're not going to hit any bone. I'm going to clean the area with my alcohol swab. Clean a, a really, really, wide area and of course make sure that your hands are clean. Because I can't pinch and inject at the same time, I'm going to use that 45 degree angle method so that I ensure that I'm getting under the skin. I'm gonna make sure that you can see this here. So I'm going to watch myself while I'm doing it and not just watch the video, but I'm going to be going in, not at the 90, but at the 45, degree angle here so I know that I'm still under the skin and I'm not in the muscle. Perfect. And then you're going to push down on the syringe and deploy the peptide. So there we go. All good. There was a little bit of blood that time. So there we go. All good. If you are injecting and you see a little bubble under the skin, then that means that you probably went a little too superficial. You're still going to get the peptide absorbed, but you might get a little bit of redness or bruising in that spot. Hopefully this was helpful. 